Well, my main inverter decided not to start up this morning. I shut it off last night to save the battery for uh, this morning because it's supposed to be, and it is, it's 24 degrees right now. Uh, we're at about 4.30 in the morning right now. Turn the battery on and we're getting nothing here. Weird thing is the, the controller is on, but I don't know if you can see them. You can probably kind of see them. Those are the solid state relays. And none of the LEDs on the, on the relays are on. One of them's for the pre-charge, so that should be off, but the other two should be on. So I think this controller... Something happened to the controller. But let's let's reboot it. I got a well let me I'll just do the circuit breaker over here. I'm gonna turn it back on. See we get we get nothing here. I don't hear the, and this is, this is, oh, I just, heard, I just heard a relay in there. This is a Nissan Leaf battery. I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to have to come back in here when, uh, when, it, when it's a little bit lighter outside. For some reason, the controller is not turning the solid state relays on. So let's let's check on it a little bit later and see what we can find out. But of course it would have to be today. I was trying to save batteries so I can run some miners inside the house to help with the heat situation, but <laughs> learning experience. All right, I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. All right, I'm going to attempt to swap this controller out with that one see what happens here I'm gonna have to put the camera down though in order to do this all right so I swapped the controller and at first it wouldn't it wasn't working but messed around with it a little bit I think what the problem might be is these solid state relays are uh, temperature sensitive it's like 24 degrees right now, and these are just some cheap Chinese SSRs. I think that's what might be the problem. Didn't seem like the controller was the issue, but I'll, I'll have to swap it back and see if the same, same thing happens. All right, so I'm back to the original controller, and I do believe... That we've, we've got some kind of a temperature issue going on with these solid state relays. Now I am running them close to the lower edge of their allowable control voltage. I'm at 3.3 volts and they're specced at 3 to I think 32 volts. So I might have to do something with that. But what I found was when I turned the power back on to the controller, the SSRs didn't come on until I started probing around on the, the control voltage terminals. I've repeated that several times and it's doing the same thing. So maybe with the low temperature, they don't want to switch on with the low control voltage. I don't know. But anyways, we're, we're back up. I'm going to see what happens later on when it warms up and see if we still have the same issue when it's warmer out. Okay, I'll catch you guys later.